help. When I need it, really need it, I call out for it. I can remember doing that maybe a half a dozen times in my life. Once being swept to sea by a riptide off the New Jersey shore. Once hanging upside down in my harnesses in a rally car we'd rolled two and a half times. There have been a few others when my very well-being has been threatened and I was personally unable to rectify the situation, and they're scary. Certainly there have been other times in my life when I could have used help and failed to call for it. I suspect all of these were not life-threatening. Things like legal issues, marketing issues, relationship issues. My knower judger has me convinced that I should be able to do all those things myself and not need anyone's help. It's possible you aren't that independent. But still, I imagine you'd prefer not to rely on someone else's assistance if it can be avoided. If you've been in or around business, you may have run across the concept of the elevator speech. That's the quick 30-second promotional verbiage one trains oneself to use when asked the question, what do you do? The market is chock full of consultants who give workshops on just that subject, crafting the elevator speech. Almost inevitably, a key component of this misses are the words, I help people, or I help companies, blah, blah, blah. I wonder if folks perceive how truly unattractive that appears. It seems to assume we're all just waiting to be rescued, or that we at least need to be rescued, which is a knower judger opinion of the elevator speaker, I suppose. I'm not being swept to sea, and I'm not unable to loosen my six-point harness. I may have an inkling of an idea that there could be a better way to do something, but I sure as hell don't believe I need your help. My old buddy Fred Miller of No Sweat Public Speaking fame has the answer. You might want to Google him. He avoids the overindulgent help term with, Businesses and individuals hire me because they want to improve their public speaking and presentation skills, or their selling skills, or their business capitalization, or blah, blah, blah. Miller claims the word because is a psychological tie between what the listener is hearing and the next part, what he might want. Want is a cornerstone of the learner-researcher persona. It's what drives decisions even more than need. Miller's version doesn't put the listener in a defensive position, you must think I need your help, but invites the listener to compare his list of wants against the next statement. If you're ever put in a position to appear favorably when someone asks, what do you do? Consider jettisoning the word help and crafting words that appeal more to the listener's potential wants. Oh, and Googling Fred Miller, no sweat public speaking. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.